What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a much shorter and concise tutorial of how to clear chat messages in Discord. This is a bare bones tutorial with as little explanation as possible. If you want a full explanation of everything and how it works, check the first link in the description down below to see my previous video. So first, there's a few things I need to mention. You can only delete your messages in private messages and you can only delete other people's messages on servers if you have permissions set up on the server allowing you to do so. You can clear your chat messages from servers, private and private group messages as well. This program will not steal your Discord token and or account if you got it from a safe source. And you're able to change your password after using it to secure your account further if you're afraid. This is open source, meaning the entire code for what the software does can be viewed by you or anyone for that matter. With over a million combined views from my previous videos, there have to have been more than a few users who've combed through the code just from my influence alone. This may save you from abusive users who'll use your words against you, but if someone screenshots messages, proof may still always exist. You can use this when leaving a toxic server or leaving toxic and or abusive users behind, just to name a few good reasons. This is technically against Discord's terms of service, but they have historically not banned anyone for using this, as far as I know, and with good enough reasons to clear your messages, its use should be more than understandable for anyone reasonable. More info on the GitHub page. So first of all, let's head across to the GitHub page to get started. This project is called UnDiscord. Here you'll find the source code and of course how to install and use it. The first step is install a browser extension for managing user scripts. We can choose any of these over here and install these plugins in our browser. I'll be downloading and installing TampaMonkey into Chrome. If you see this page, simply click add to Chrome to install it and add extension. Then once it's installed, we can head back to here. Scroll down and look for step two, install and discard. I'll be using the greasy fork link, though they are both pretty much the same. When you get to this page, simply click install this script and a new tab will open. We can scroll through the source code here if you're curious. And when we're done, simply look for the install button and click it. Now and Discord has been installed successfully. Now we need to head across to Discord in our browser to actually use the script. We can't use the official Discord client. From here, we'll need to log in. Once you're on the Discord page, you're able to disable and uninstall the script later on. To do so, check your extensions in the top right for the Tampa Monkey extension or whatever extension you're using. If you don't see it, click the extensions button, locate Tampa Monkey and pin it. Now it'll appear at the bar at the very top. Click this and we can choose to disable and discord later on, or we can choose dashboard and uninstall it by clicking the trash icon on the far right. Now we can start deleting messages while it's enabled using the script. In any chat in the top right, you'll see a new trash icon. Click this and we'll see a new pop-up here. This can be a private chat, private group chat, or a channel on a server. Simply click get next to authorization, get next to author, and get next to guild slash channel. A guild is another word for a server. Note that if you change the channel, go to a different user, etc. Simply click get next to guild slash channel once more. When you click get next to author, it gets your ID and it'll be used later to delete only your messages. We can put other users IDs in here, assuming you have permissions in a server to delete their messages too. You cannot delete other people's messages in a private chat. You can also empty this to delete all messages in an entire channel. I'll be leaving mine here for now. To get someone else's ID, you'll need to enable developer mode. Click user settings in the bottom left, click advanced, and make sure that developer mode is turned on. When you've done so, you can right click any user and you'll see copy ID. We can then paste this into the author to delete only their messages. If you'd like, you can also set a time range to delete messages between a start and an end date. And we can also enter IDs of specific messages to delete messages between them. To get these, simply make sure developer mode is on, right click a start message and choose copy ID. We can then paste this into after message with ID. Then we can copy an ID of an end message that we'd like to delete and paste it in before message with your ID. When we run it, it'll delete every message between these two messages. Using a date range works similarly. We can also delete messages that have a specific string of text, have links, have files, and we can choose whether to include pinned messages, which is off by default. We'll be leaving search delay and delete delay at the default. The last thing to check is screenshot mode, which we don't need to worry about if you're not recording your screen or streaming it. 
With the ranges empty and my ID selected, simply clicking Start will give me a preview pop-up telling me what messages will be deleted. Upon clicking OK, it'll start deleting all of my messages starting from the very last one. At any time, you can click Stop and it'll stop deleting your messages. Do note that after deleting a lot of messages, you'll hit a roadblock and become API Rate Limited by Discord. This sounds scary, but it simply stops you doing too many actions too fast, which keeps Discord's servers fast for everyone. The speed of deleting messages will slow down after a point and will show errors in the log. But don't worry, it'll eventually continue and find a good pace. With that being said, we've now done a complete crash course of the Undiscord plugin, and you now know how to mass delete your messages or other people's messages from Discord. If you'd like to see a more complete guide that goes very much more into detail, check the description down below to have everything explained to you in incredible detail. This little crash course should hopefully simplify the process. If you find yourself confused, do click that link as well and everything will be explained. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.